Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Guess what we're doing today? Yeah, we're harvesting again. <laughs> Hopefully the last day, maybe nighttime, that we're harvesting. Other than the uh, two wheat fields that we have. I just went up and sold the trailer that we filled up last night. And I did a terrible parking job. I think I can get, make this. Oh yeah, that's right. The header's not attached. <clears throat> there we go. Now I can get my train of thought kind of. No, 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 no. That's the wrong button. Okay, my train of thought's not going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, wrong buttons here and there. R is to lower the header. There you go. So, uh, I've already hired uh, one guy to plow one field and another to uh, sow a field with peas as well. There we go. Uh, how much did I spill? Well, I didn't spill that much. Geez, the combine holds 1,200 and... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, we got this field to harvest. Obviously, because we're in it. And then I'm, then we got another, like, uh, two hectare field. And then a one and, like, a half hectare field. So, hopefully, if I get on it, we can get done today. The good part about this field is it's right next to the cell point. Uh, I'm going to try to keep track of our workers as well. Uh, get them, you know, continually working on those four fields that they're in. Uh, what are we on? Day three? Yeah, the third. April 3rd. Uh, our storage for our liquid slurry or cow manure, whatever you want to call it, should be fine for a few more days still. We emptied it uh, at the beginning of the year into a tanker. We took out eight, the 18,000, so that should be good for at least nine days before it can fill back up. But hopefully it won't take us too long to work on this field and we get started on the other one. Which will leave one more canola field and we'll be done with canola. Uh, I may hire someone to um, do the wheat fields. We may even do that some point today. And we'll see if they leave straw down, but I'll wait until we start working in the last canola field before I hire someone because that way if it goes wrong then we can fix it later on and that's kind of the plan for today you know same as the last two days you know we're just trying to get our spring cleaning done that's what we're doing and uh, get workers just keep working the fields that they can work in for us and then when we get done harvesting we'll be working for other people get our social points back up well, not back up, but try to get up to that one million mark. That's what that's our goal for the season. I don't think we'll reach a million social points this season, but you never know. As for money today, uh, we should reach two and a half million, I would think. It's about wait, where are we at here? So that's like three more trailer fulls, and the trailer is already kind of full. Actually, speaking of, I should empty this off a little bit. I don't, don't think I'll make it back around at that rate. Yep, just got done recording a farming simulator episode, so now... Uh, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons for the controls, and... You know how that goes. Play one game to another, you get confused once in a while. go. Alright, now we'll keep going around until we top off the trailer. Or combine. Wow, I'm just all over the place. Was this... Yeah, all these fields up here were double fertilized, right? Yes, they were. Okay. That's right, because we had to fertilize one of the fields down there with some cow manure because we had too much. Well, 
too much for the fields up here. At some point, I do need to talk to the wife. This is like the fourth day in a row I haven't talked to her. And hopefully the greenhouse is doing well. I need to check on the greenhouse. I need those uh, zucchini and tomatoes to really kick in because we sold all of our tier 3 cooking to reach our goal last year. And pretty soon I'll be munching on eggs again for about a week or two. I just need to make sure the humidity in the greenhouse is doing well to begin the season. Uh, that's one thing I haven't checked. Yeah, still no rain in the forecast. Yeah, I didn't check that. I haven't been checking the rain in the forecast. I've just been pretty much focusing on harvesting and, you know, doing the night harvest. And I was not even paying attention to the weather. But luckily for us, it looks like today and the next two days are sunny. So we should be fine. We should, definitely should be done harvesting all together by then. And uh, at some point, <laughs> I'll be glad when I get done, I can watch this harvester. I'm getting hungry already? Oh, we have been up now. This will be like our third straight day, so... Our eating patterns and... Our sleeping patterns are fine, because I just slept 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, we're fine. Yeah. Harvester's almost full. Waiting for it to go dink. There he goes. And we'll just try to get close as we can for no reason at all. Even this tractor needs a good cleaning. The trailer needs a good cleaning. The side of this road needs a good cleaning. <laughs> yeah, at some point we'll be coming up here with bales to sell. So we can kind of see after last year, if you fill up your, your cows with, uh, let's just face it, straw, to 100% at the end of the year they basically go through half of it in a year right around there give or take a percent or two so really we could sell all that straw from those two fields and do another field later on like the middle of the season to top them off we might even do that just to try to make more money from the spring cleaning. We'll have to see how close we are on our spring cleaning totals. If we get close to a million, I may just sell all the straw bales and go that way because the cows are still like at 40 some odd percent for food. empty start up the combine once again and you're starting to get used to the routine by now I'm sure for the past few episodes so I'm going to now I'm do a jump cut I'm going to work some more in this field and probably bring it back when we're working in the other field at some point I got another, about another 12 or so minutes on this field I think a couple trail loads so I'll see you in a second All right, this should put us over the two and a half million mark. Combines in our second field of the day. Of the day. Made a few laps around that field before the combine got full. And it's time to bring the trailer over as well. So we're emptying out before we go over there. It wasn't full trailer, but uh, full enough. Uh, what I need to check on is our workers. One, two, 
three. This field is completely done. All right. Uh, you start plowing that field. So that'll be our fifth field that a worker is preparing to sow for the season or the spring at least. Actually, we need to go up here to scare all these deer and bore away and get to our field actually is what we're doing. But Yeah, we're doing the field that I like to call the, the train field because that's the field that you work in and you can't see the train go by blowing its whistle. We seem to be doing rather well uh, on the fields. It's just noon. So hopefully I can finish this field by 6 o'clock, which means I can do the other small field in this episode as well and not run too late into the evening. And we won't do any more night harvesting. That's <laughs> It's fun for, you know, a couple times, but not, not too many times in a row. Yeah, there's the train. Right on cue. And then I'm thinking, all depends on April 4th, which is tomorrow, uh, when we wake up, what kind of jobs are there? Uh, that's my kind of thought process right now, is we'll wake up tomorrow morning, after we finish these two canola fields tonight, today and early evening, and uh, wake up tomorrow, see what jobs are available, do the jobs for other uh, farmers, and then if they're not time consuming, we'll start harvesting the wheat fields and work on those ourselves. I think that's the plan I'm going to go with for now. But uh, it looks like we're going to get, well, I should, I'm, saying, I'm not going to say it looks like, we're going to get the two canola fields done this episode, uh, the last two done this episode. Come hell or high water, uh, <laughs> we're going to get them done. Enough episode, episodes of uh, me harvesting canola. Although it has been nice to go from one and three quarter million to two and a half million in just a few episodes. And who knows when this update comes out, when they said they're working on also some new stuff, who knows what might be in store. But we'll have enough money to buy whatever it is they can throw at us, I think. At least the one thing they didn't say about the update, but maybe they don't want to tell us is uh, when the full release comes, which is this is what this update's supposed to be, which I don't know how it's so going to be a full release when they're going to do updates afterwards. Is uh, but usually this late in the stage of the window right now is sometimes save games don't work, but I haven't heard any of that, so I have to keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, this field, as you can see, we're already, what, 30% done? So, like I said, hopefully we can finish this by 6 o'clock in the evening. That's that's kind of my goal. And then we just got that small, I don't want to say small, it's a, like a hectare and a half field left to do for canola. As long as I keep my eye on our four workers for the day. Actually, did I need another worker? No. Uh, no. Probably just a little bit longer before any of those workers are done. But the one thing we will have to do for our fields ourselves is fertilize them. And as we know, we got fertilizer. Yeah, I know I'm hungry. I'm trying to stretch my hunger as long as I can because I don't want to end up eating eggs all day long for weeks on end, which I probably will be. Now our foods are at 8, so I'll wait a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer.
but we'll be hiring workers for many episodes because we got a lot of fields that they can be working in to plow, cultivate, and seed. And we got a lot of fields we can do ourselves on our farm. But I think, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to focus on doing jobs. And when there are no jobs available, then we'll work on our own fields. Like I said, we got, we got the cash. More than enough to buy probably every field that's left in the game. I'm sure it's more than enough. I mean, I haven't really sat down and thought about it. I would say we own pretty close to half the fields. Alright, let's, uh... Nope. Wrong button. Let's go top off the trailer. And then we'll take a couple more sections of the field off and top off the combine and we'll have to go back to the selling point where they've been telling us no more canola and I say tough you got a locked price you're gonna get canola because I wouldn't know what to do with all this canola because I don't have a storage for it myself There's a few reasons why I hate this field. One, the dips that we're going through now are just a pain in the butt when you plow and cultivate. And number two, having to hear that train whistle every 30 seconds it seems like. So it's not going to take long to top this off here. So once again what I'm going to do is take another jump cut and I'll bring you back when we're starting the last field of canola yeah I better eat something now oh god I only got three pizzas left who oh, no. knew so yeah uh, I'll finish this field up and I'll meet you over that hill or beyond that tree there where we got that hectare and a half field to finish up or start but they'll be finishing up the canola fields. So, once again, I'll see you in a second. And here we are, half past six. The last canola field. Still got some four workers working around certain areas. Cedared a few fields. They're doing their thing, we're doing ours. Uh, our trailer is parked behind us. It's got about 6,000 grains in it right now, 6,000 liters uh, from the last field in it. The combine's completely empty until now. Uh, so this field is actually one and a third hectares. So I'm hoping that the trailer can take it all and the combine can fit the rest in it, but I'm thinking not. Which is a good thing, the more grain we get the better, and at this point, knowing that this is the last canola field, bring it on. That's, that's the way I'm looking at it. It seems like it's been a long time harvesting canola, and I... So far I've planted, uh, we've sown peas, and I think I'm doing lupine in some areas, but now most of the... I think actually all of our helpers right now are plowing fields. Uh, I should have had a worker sowing this field here, but I didn't want to be in the way from going up and down here, so yeah, they'll get the field next time, whenever a worker becomes free, just to make sure we finish off the field. Yep, but this is the last canola field. No more canola until next spring cleaning, if there is one, because <laughs> that'll be a ways off. 
Uh, that's not us destroying crops. That's one of the workers. So I know there's a worker plowing somewhere that's near the center of the field where the harvester couldn't uh, harvest crops. So there's a there's a worker somewhere getting ready to be finished. So maybe I'll get them seeding the field behind us. But uh, we're doing decent enough on money. Uh, you did obviously you saw the two and a half million mark. Uh, I think we're like at 540 something like that 540 2.540 somewhere around there I actually you know the number there have been so many numbers uh, recently in this game I'm trying to keep track of yeah I, I'm losing track I was hoping for a million dollar clean out but I'm not sure we're gonna quite get there those two wheat fields are very small yeah, we can bring a good amount of money with the, the bales as well, but I don't, I don't see us getting another 200000 But we got to see how we end up with the canola fields first. Because I really have forgotten how much money <laughs> i got right now. But the good news is, yes, this episode here will be the last of the canola harvesting. Wow, that combine filled up faster than I thought. Let's run over here, get our tractor and trailer. We'll have to top it off. Like I said, it's got just some in it from the previous field. I emptied the harvester up there and I thought I was going to bring the, the trailer up and sell it. And I said, ah, it's not enough in there to, you know, I was kind of stuck in the middle of go sell it or just come down to the field and see how it goes and I chose to see how it goes but maybe we'll get a couple of trailers out of here well this will be one yeah we'll definitely get two more other than this one is what I'm trying to trying to say really one thing I hate I kind of hate that you have to hit the right mouse button to see how much is in the trailer but at the same time you get the field numbers in your face as well just kind of blocks everything. Uh, nope, nope. That's yeah. That's farming simulator. F to pipe out. So, uh, lights. I was trying to hit the light button, and in farming simulator, it's F for lights for some reason. Although I did something in between Farming Simulator, I just, like I said, I recorded a Farming Simulator episode just before this. In between episodes, I actually went on Steam and pre-purchased FS19. So in case you didn't know, you can pre-buy FS19 now on Steam. And I heard uh, Daggerwind comment about if you pre-buy 19, you get... Uh, like when you pre-bought 17, you got some equipment. Uh, I forgot what he said you get in 19 though. So, if you're interested in that, go have a look. Uh, it was going, uh, FS19 is going for round off to 35 US dollars. Same as it always has been pretty much for the past couple editions. But it seems like this time with FS19, that $35 is going to get you a lot more than it has in the past. I know it may sound kind of stupid, but I'm kind of looking forward to the dog in FS19. <laughs> because Farmer's Dynasty, uh, where's our dog? Farmer's Dynasty, where is our dog? And I'm hoping in Farmer's Dynasty we kind of get a choice of what kind of dog. I don't want no flipping poodle. Not, nothing against poodles, but I want... <laughs> I would prefer a lab. Uh, I'm a lab kind of a guy. I've had a few chocolate labs in my life, so... I would prefer a lab or a golden retriever. See what kind of dog if well I don't know 
I don't know if FD is going to have a farmer's dynasty is going to have a dog in it or not. But it shows one on the loading screen. So it must be pretty close to 8 o'clock because it said we might need some rest. If for what we've actually done in the past three days and how much we've actually slept. Oh yeah, we need rest. <laughs> we slept a total of like 18, 18 minutes, somewhere around there. Alright. Well, might as well take the road. An L for lights in this game. There we go. Cut in front of this truck. Van, whatever it is. Van with no lights on it. Uh, what I do in between uh, loads is I've been saving the game back and forth. Oh, so yeah, we're at uh, 541. So I'm going to save the game here. Because every once in a while I have had issues, like I've said in uh, past episodes, but sometimes when I hire a new worker, sometimes it kind of freezes the game. So I got three workers. Uh, what we got in these fields? P. So this guy needs to sow. He needs to sow some peas in it. So you can see. Uh, so that was a worker got done plowing that field. So I got a worker plowing that field right up there. You can see this guy right here plowing this field. Uh, we have another guy plowing the field down over the hill over the two fields from uh, the farm and now we just hired our fourth guy to seed that three and a half hectare field thank you for hired helpers because I don't just imagine if we didn't have hired helpers and I had to harvest all these fields ourselves man you guys would be ditching on me so fast saying stop harvesting do something else other than harvesting. And I'd be like, I would if I could, but all of our fields have crops in them. Well, really, without helpers, I would have never bought all those fields down in the other section. Yeah, so we need about another 200 grand to reach our 1 million spring cleaning. And I think we're going to be short. And I'm not going to try to sell everything in our pantry to get there. <laughs> I just thought last year we had, what, 600 grand? We added all those fields. I'm like, well, we should almost be able to... It's not going to quite double it because we don't have enough fertilization for all the fields. Let's go down, empty the combine, and we should be able to finish up that field. The combine should be able to finish it up, is what I'm trying to say. I will empty all of the canola today, or tonight, and then we'll bring the harvester back to the farm, along with the tractor and trailer, park it next to the wheat fields, because I think we'll end up doing wheat fields because like today for jobs available there was uh, three transports one fixed the building there was actually no plow there were no actually no field work so if we get that tomorrow where it's just you know a couple of uh, you know no non field work jobs all four of them we can do all the jobs and then we can slowly start working on the wheat fields there's no rush to get to them the cows got plenty of food and we're probably end up selling all the bales and I may reseed those fields as uh, barley this time oh, there should be a worker no there he is he's right there
So it will be kind of a kind of a late night, but then again, not too late of a night working. Turn on the header before I forget. Turn on our lights as well. Must be we got another worker getting ready to be done. I'm not going to hire any more new workers as well. I'll let, I'll, I don't want them being in the save game as much as I can because sometimes that causes a problem loading the game as well, I think. I've heard some people mention that on the discussion forum. Alright. So just a third of a field left to go, which is not much. Since the size of the fields we have been working in, it's kind of a smallish field. So we should be able to top off the trailer and whatever we get left in the combine. So we'll probably be taking two more trips up to the cell point. But the end is near for Canola. Won't be able to talk to the wife today because, well, she's already in bed. I'm sure of that by now. I gotta keep a reminder to check on the greenhouse. I do believe when I planted the greenhouse on the 1st of April that I do believe I hit the humidity control and we watered the crops that are in there. But that seems like that was ages ago that I did that. The last pass of canola. We've done it, guys. <laughs> We've done all the canola. It's over. It's all over. So since I got to make two trips anyways, I'm not going to bother topping off the trailer. So let's just head up there with this, uh, what was it, like 12, 12 grand of uh, 12,000 liters of canola. Sell that, come back down. Get a second run up there, bring everything over to the wheat fields, which is just right there. Check on the, uh, the greenhouse, and dude, you got a light out. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll call it an episode. But I think what I'll do for you, instead of you watching me take two trips up here, I'll bring you back when we empty the second uh, trailer. We'll see what we end up with cash for the at the end of this episode. So I'll see you in a second. I have to say it's kind of nice knowing that the next episode I'm recording doesn't involve me harvesting canola. <laughs> you know? So this would be episode number five of harvesting canola. Pretty much. Yeah, because we had two night, two day, two night sessions and now this one. And those are the fields I have to do. We just did the ones I have to do. So maybe, you know, when this update comes out, if workers can work all the fields, you know, we will do some fields to help help the team, if you will. Uh, we'll just harvest uh, the fields to help the team. Then when we all get done, then I'll, we'll, you know. But that's next. That's next, next spring. That's a long ways away. I think it takes me a couple months to go through a season. But this season could be longer because we're going to do all the work that we can. It looks like we're going to only basically miss three days of spring cleaning, which, you know, it's... I was thinking maybe five or six. But uh, we did pretty well. But then again, my first theory of five or six days missing it, I did not take consideration of doing night harvesting. 
So there we have it. At the end of canola, we got 2.57 million in the bank. So, yeah, getting another 180,000. Yeah, 180,000. Is it 180,000? Yeah, another 180,000 from the two wheat fields and bales. Need a miracle. A big miracle. So, I. <laughs> I don't see that happening, but still, you know what? A pretty good spring cleaning so far. Which one of you? That? Oh, that must be that guy right there destroying crops. But uh, I already brought the harvester down to the farm. The harvester is parked right next to the two wheat fields. What time is it? It's almost midnight. Took me longer to harvest that last field than I thought, but you know what? Let's be happy. All the canola fields are done. And it just leaves the two wheat fields. Now the two wheat fields will take a while because we have to sell, well we don't have to, but uh, you want to sell the wheat and barley down at the old mill because the price is that much better. And it just takes a while to get down there. All right, so we're going to park this guy right here. I'm trying to hit enter to turn off the engine before you get out. Ah, that's what you get when you play multiple games. How? Oh, humidity is low. Glad we checked. Yeah, the crops in here. Yeah. So we're going to be we're going to be eating eggs for a while because I got. Three pizzas left, and you can see my food's down. Well, my sleep is at three. My food's at 16. But uh, I'm not going to eat tonight, obviously, because we're going right to bed. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Like always, I appreciate you watching. And when I see you next time on A Day in the Farm, uh, we're going to actually do some jobs. I don't know what jobs are going to be available, but... And then we got then when we got free time we'll take care of the take care of the wheat field and uh, see how far we get tomorrow. So we had a little night harvesting today, but other than that, not too much. Actually, let's just go down here. I know the wife can't prepare any three tier cooking. Ah <gasps> She did. She made pizza. So all she needs is mushrooms? So she doesn't need tomato? Hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Actually, we need to take that. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Move the inventory. Uh, so there's a little surprise. But, uh, yeah. I was closing out the episode, right? So, <laughs> yeah. I'll see you in the next one, guys. But until then, thanks, honey. Have a good one.